If you enjoy these programs, please like and subscribe. You know, Jewish people, they don't know New Covenant, right? They right. don't know Jesus, but they know the Torah, right? We want you to know about Jesus because Jesus is a very, very important for us to be saved. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, are you sure? I'm sure. Because in the chapter before, in Isaiah 41, if you go one chapter four, it says in verse eight that Israel is my servant. It doesn't say a single person. No, that is a little bit different perspective. Let's take a look at yours, 41, eight, nine. Take a look. Because I have to go, I have to go home. You, you, you want to- You yeah. could tell me why no, I should the, believe in Jesus. No, no. Twice. And what's your message to Israel? Like, what is your message to the Jewish people? No. You know, Jewish people, they don't know New Covenant, right? They right. don't know Jesus. But they know the Torah, right? Deuteronomy, Genesis. Right. Yeah. So we want to, we want you to know about Jesus because Jesus is very, very important for us to be saved. My, my question is, but you want that the Jews... Oh, God wants you to know about Jesus. That's why we are here to proclaim about Him and praise the Lord. Because, you know, God created all the nation, right? Mm. God created in this world. Mm. God is the creator. God is omniscient. God is everything. So we just praise God. But uh, Orthodox Jews, sorry to say, Orthodox Jews know only just uh, Creator God, right? And oh. Torah, we know the Torah. That is the Old Testament. That is from Moses, right? Yes. Yeah. That's why that is the part of Bible. So why should I? I'm Jewish. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, you know? Okay. I love Jews. Okay. So tell me. Why should I believe in Jesus? Like, why would I believe that? Because, um... Tell me, what do you think you is know, the most important? You know, Adam. Do you know Adam? Adam? Yeah, Adam. The first man. In G Genesis, you can see Adam. That is the first, first one uh, God created, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then he just uh, communicate with, uh, he, uh, communicate with uh, uh, God. Yes. Deeply, but someday he just uh, sinned, right? Yes. That's why he separated yes, from God. You know, God is very, very holy. Yes. So God cannot cannot connect with him because he is a lady sinner. That's why separated for a long time. The human beings they cannot communicate with God because so of when the sin. A, let me ask you this. You don't mind? Do you mind if I ask you? Okay. Okay, so Abraham, mm -hmm. was he a good man? Not just a good man, we know. No, but Abraham, yeah. was he a good man? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I, uh, my perspective, not my perspective, uh, the Bible says Abraham believed in God, right? Believe, believe in God. In God. Uh, yeah, that's why God said to, God gave the covenant to him. Yes. You have a lot of descendants, right? Yes. Just like a sand, just like a uh, stars in the sky, right. like that. Right. So uh, there is the covenant. Right. But uh, Israelites, they they were broken because they had sin, and they just worship not God. They worship Baal and others, but, right? But you know, just like I just want to share with you, just like I wouldn't say that all Koreans do bad things. Some do. Of course, yes. So, right. so we are all sinners. Just for a moment, yeah, just yeah. for a moment. I think you will find, maybe you'll be happy to find that although some Jews sin, some Jews are good people. Not all of us. No, yes, I don't think no, no, who are good, who are not good. So, I let, me, think so let me ask you this. Yeah. Abraham communicated with God. God called Abraham my yeah, friend. Yeah. God so, has chosen so, Abraham. And yeah. Elijah was a good man. Elijah, Daniel a was a good man, yeah, yeah. right? They all communicated yeah. with God. 
and God. and yeah. when somebody sinned like David, God forgave him, right? Yeah, of course. No, Je because you so know what? Tell me why. You know, David, King David, he had a relationship with God very deeply. He already knew knew about Jesus. How do you the know that? The precious blood. How do you, you, how you do know you, why? How do you know that? Yeah, why? Tell me. Because he just uh, had a sin with Bathsheba, right? Yes. After that, she couldn't eat at all. But one day, uh, his son died, right? First, the son, son uh, died, yes. Bathsheba died. At the time, he just uh, realized God just forgave him with the precious blood of Jesus. But so, where does it say that? I mean, uh, Sam, Sam, you can see the Sam. Wait. 51 says about, about the, the redemption. You see that. Right, but in Psalm 51, it says that God doesn't want a sacrifice. He wants a broken and contrite heart that he won't despise. And he doesn't want blood. No, God, no, no, no. no. But that is another uh, That's Psalm 51. I want to expect you many, many things. But, but I, tell me, I want to know why I'm a Jew. I know, I know. I love Jews. I love Jews. Jews or Messianic Jews. I love all. Well, all right. So my question is, tell me why I... It means in Second Samuel chapter twelve, David repents. He says, "I'm sorry," and Nathan says, "God forgave you." Yeah, of course. Right. So there's no mention of Jesus anywhere in Samuel or in Psalms. Uh, you know, in Isaiah yeah. or other Psalms, you can see about Jesus. But I cannot explain all the Bible. And Tell me Old just Testament. one one part of the Bible uh, which tells part, me about yeah. Jesus, because uh, I want to know. Isaiah 11. Maybe. Isaiah 11? Yeah. Okay. You. you don't Which mind doing 41. this? And 41. Isaiah 41? Yeah. Okay. And let me show Do you, you mind showing me? That's okay. Okay. Of no problem. I'm going to show you here. I have this one. Hold on, please. <laughs> That's where God called Abraham my friend in Isaiah 41. Uh, Very famous chapter. Here, Isaiah. Sorry, sorry, 42. 42? Oh, here, right, 42, sorry. I, I confused. Here, you know here? Show me. My servant whom I afford, Hold on. my chosen one in whom I delight. This is a person, you know, person. Is it? Yeah, person. Are you sure? Yeah, are you sure? I'm sure. Because in the chapter before, in Isaiah 41, if you go one chapter forward, it says in verse 8 that Israel is my servant. It doesn't say it's a single person. Yeah, that is a little bit different perspective. Well, let's take a look at yours, 41, 8, and 9. Take a look. 40. 41, same thing, 41, go back. Just one chapter. 41, verse 8 and 9. It tells us who the servant is. There you go. But you? Yeah. You, it, Israel? It is, uh, yeah, yeah, Israel, right? My servant. Yeah, servant, right. Jacob, whom I have chosen. Ah, so it's talking let about me, Israel. Uh, if you want, let me give you the sermon. That's very, very detailed. So if you want, let me give you the sermon about the Isaiah, okay? Because I have to go. <laughs> I have to go home. You, you, you want to. You could tell me why uh, I should the, believe in Jesus. No, no, but, if you enjoy these programs, please like and subscribe. Adon Olach, Asher Malach, V'terem Kol Yetzir Nivra, Let Nasa, Bechev Tzokor, Azai Melech, Azai Melech, Shemu Nikra. Le <laughs> im